Okay, front cam. The diagram below shows a 4 by 5 grid. Using this shading or otherwise, show that 3 quarters of 4 fifths equals 20 over tw 12 or 20, which is 3 fifths. Now, what you can do here is, you can shade in, in let's say green, I'm going to shade in 3 quarters. There's 3 quarters of 4 blocks. See the first section, that's 3 out of 4 blocks. The next one I'm going to do is, I'm going to do 4 blocks F. Four, was it four blocks in red out of five? When you multiply them by each other, what happens is the whole thing becomes shaded. So all you gotta do is shade in each row. So all the way up, one, two, three. So three up and four across. How many of them do we have now? We have 12 blocks out of 20. And what we know about 12 blocks out of 20 is when you divide top and bottom by two, same as 6 over 10, same as 3 fifths. Now, the second question is, construct a 4 by 3 grid. A 4 by 3 grid, okay? So this one here is a 5 by 4 grid. A 4 by 3 grid means 4 on the bottom and 3 up to 3. So let's see what happens here. Okay? So 1, uh, I'll deal with them black. So, four on the bottom, three on top. Let's see what happens. Okay, so we go one, two, I oh say that's one, that's two, that's three. Within that, I'm going to shade uh, four blocks. One, two, three, and four. Okay, roughly perfect. Okay, now they're not the same size, they should be the same size. On the side here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write down what they did before. I'm going to start off with one quarter, two quarters, three quarters, four quarters. Okay. Now I have, to, as it turns out, I do actually have too many blocks, so I'm going to get rid of this one here. So at the moment, it's it's four by three, which is wrong. Just meant to be it's meant to be four by four. So what I'm going to do is the following. I got it. So. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to uh, group this and then what I can do is I can turn it around to get my 3 by 4 Okay, now it's the desired 3 by 4 So it's 3 up, 4 down. Now what we're going to do here is the following. 0, 1 thirds, 2 thirds, 1. This one's a quarter, 2 quarters, 3 quarters, and one. We do what we did last time. Shade in two thirds and then shade in three quarters. And what you're going to notice is that when we shade in everything that the two of them encompass, so this part and this part, we're going to have six out of how many blocks in total? Twelve. Six out of twelve. Six out of twelve is a half. A half. That's the way these ones work. Okay, next one. A bottle, a litre bottle is two thirds full of apple juice. Okay, so we have a bottle here. I know we didn't do this, this is me doing it in class. Okay, shh. Now, we're, we do number 20 before 18, okay? The reason being is uh, 18 is for homework. Now, what we're doing the following is we're making a bottle out of this, okay? So here's the bottle. Now, the bottle. It's not the best looking bottle in the world, but it'll do the trick. Now, the bottle is two thirds full, so I'm going to put the line up here. This is two thirds full. Frida drinks four fifths of the apple juice. So, Stephen, what do you think you do? You multiply two thirds by four fifths. You drank four fifths of the two thirds. Do you got it? So, what's four fifths multiplied by two thirds? 8 over 15. You drank 8 fifteenths of the bottle. That's what Brenda drinks. What is left in the bottle? Yes. 7 over 15. Uh, no. What happens was at the start there was. What? Shh. What is 2 thirds in 15 lads? What's 2 thirds in 15? 10 over 15. Okay. 
There was 10 over 15 at the start. Brenda drank 8 15 That leaves you 2 15 Hey guys, what happens is Cat A, one cat eats a third of a tin of cat food in the morning and exactly the same in the afternoon. So the first cat, or cat A, eats a third plus a third. This cat eats two thirds of a tin of cat food. Two thirds of a tin. Cat B eats a half a tin of food once a day. It's a half. The total amount, total is a half plus two thirds. To add a half and two thirds together, what we need to do is we need to uh, we need to get a common denominator. The common denominator is six, and what we do is to turn two into six, we multiply by three. So that means we multiply the top and bottom by three, three over six. To get turn three into six, we multiply by two. So that means this one's going to be four over six. In one day, they eat seven over. Six. This is for one day. I want to find out what seven days is. Seven days, we multiply it by seven. And what do we get, David? Seven over one over seven. Sorry, seven over one. Yeah, forty-nine over six. Forty-nine over six. And forty-nine over six is eight and one. Eight and one six. This is over eight can eight tins of food. You either have eight tins of food or you have nine tins of food. You can't buy a half a tin or a sixth of a tin. So the answer is nine tins. Has anybody got any questions? Yeah.